Today I'm going to review Wise Calculator, um, a software that's a better calculator replacement and this is actually the version I have meant to review. Um, I, I reviewed a different calculator yesterday by mistake. So wisecalculator.chat.ru is the website to get it and um, if you just type it into your browser you can go ahead and download the website is in English so you won't have any problems uh, with having the application. If you just save it on your desktop or anywhere else it's uh, actually very quick to download only 826 kilobytes and very quick to install. Installs on all versions of Windows uh, even the older ones like 2000, Millennium uh, maybe even Windows 98 and uh, the first time you start application it actually allows you to choose between English or Russian as the user interface um, the software was written by uh, Mr. Pavel Michalowski uh, from Russia so tends the user interface language selection if you just click English it will default to English every time until you change it and that's the interface of the program uh, very simple very clear uh, has a ton of features for any calculation need uh, that you might have be it scientific uh, be it something for home and uh, well actually I use it for home and I've used it um, for several things that, and it was quite handy to have it installed and it's freeware so you don't have to pay anything or violate any laws to have the software and there's a few examples included in the demo folder and um, like calculating molar mass, electron mass, speed of light, anything you want. Um, if you are a student you might use it to calculate out uh, some of the assignments you have and well I wouldn't suppose it's cheating maybe just a way to kind of find out what the right answer is and compare to your own results. It might The software actually lets you to dialogue boxes so you might write a short calculation in which the software will ask you uh, to input some details like temperature or speed or, or length or mass or anything and that's just easier for you to work out on the same calculation and adjust it as you go and reuse the same calculation for different purposes. In this, uh, in this example it asks me for my name and then if you just uh, put in your name it gives you a result just hell mark and quite simple, quite simple application. Um, not only that, um, can work with dates, can work with time, um, might do time calculation, date calculation, like find out uh, what day of the week it was uh, 29 years ago when you were born or what date of week uh, it will be when your father's birthday is or the mother's birthday is and, and more and more things like that and that and what I actually used it for is home use, for finding out calories, calculating calories, proteins, uh, how much fat, how much carbs does particular food have, and for also for recipes at home. And uh, if you just um, quickly look at this calculation, um, a gram of fat actually has 9 calories, a gram of protein or carbs have each four calories so if you don't know how much calories are there in a dish but you know how much fat proteins and carbs there are you can actually calculate out the caloric output so uh, here I defined the I defined the variables as they are and that's the calculation there and then there so calories in my soup let's say um, the combination of the fat of the protein and the carbs and I might actually calculate out uh, whatever it works out to be and uh, in my experience you sometimes find out that the manufacturers of certain foods actually round up the numbers of calories to a lower number uh, just to make you feel good about yourself and not, uh, and not be worried that you're eating too many calories uh, a day <laughs> And that's the, just just a simple example of how it might be used. It's very simple, but the the program actually can do much more than that. Uh, but it's only good to me for the practical purposes that I have. Now you might use it for things like recipe unit conversions because sometimes uh, recipes contain some some of the ingredients are in grams, some are in cups, 
and sometimes uh, you, you might have an ingredient which is uh, it says flour you have flour in grams in the in the actual recipe but you don't have kitchen scales so all, the only thing you have is a kitchen cup let's say and a lot of people don't use scales in the kitchen so if you just uh, it's not as easy to convert volume to mass uh, but it is possible so if you just uh, find out on the internet on your favorite sites or somewhere else uh, the conversion factor you can actually make a calculation and reuse it and reuse it again and again to find out um, what the ingredients are or how much of everything you should use so they say if you had the, the flour, flour cup is 125 grams if it's a regular white flour and so if you have two cups in the in the recipe it means you have to have 250 grams so that's one quarter of a kilogram pack and and just as, as, as easy as that and uh, I can't really remember now but you can use it for a lot of a lot of uh, purposes at home it's freeware you don't have to pay anything for it you might you might want to give it a, a try and um, well that's it and um, the thing is that actually um, use it try it out it's very quick to download install use it for yourself see what you think and this was a video from softwaresland.com a video review so visit the site for more reviews uh, if you want thank you